ByteDance Seed has released Seed 1.5 VL, a powerful and efficient vision language model designed for advanced general purpose multi-model understanding and reasoning. What they are saying is it is efficient, it achieves top performance with a relatively modest architecture, it has a 532 million parameters vision encoder and a 20 billion active parameter mixture of experts LLM. Uh, it delivers state of art results on 38 out of 60 public VLM benchmarks demonstrating broad competence. It has versatile capabilities, so it can do complex reasoning like visual uh, puzzles, OCR, diagram understanding, visual grounding, 3D spatial understanding and video comprehension. It has advanced agent centric abilities. It demonstrates leading performance in interactive agent tasks, showcasing strong capabilities in GUI control and gameplay. So this particular model is Apache 2.0 license. They have a hugging face demo where we can try out and see if you know how it performs on these various tasks. And the thing is that uh, this model has Apache 2.0 license, but the model is not yet released. You don't have the, the weights are not yet released. Okay. Uh, but they have deployed it on uh, Volcano engine and they have a hugging face demo, which we can try out. So let's go to the hugging face demo and then let's later come to the architecture. So I started off with this visual reasoning problem whereby I gave this map of Delhi Metro and I wanted to go from a particular station, Tekri Kalan on the green line to a station Faridabad old over here on the violet line. Okay, so that is over here. So there is an interchange which happens at Mandi House between blue line and violet line and green line and blue line at Kirtinagar. So this is a complex problem for visual understanding because it has to identify the stations on these map it has to identify the metro lines it has to identify the you know interchange stations so i gave this particular input over here right and i asked it like you know how do i travel you know between these stations so it started thinking and it gave mixed chinese and english output over here in the thinking process okay if you look at you have both chinese tokens or chinese characters and this thing so it kind of identified the three lines okay the green line blue line and violet line where the interchange has to happen uh, the only problem was that it identified the green line and it said travel to Mundka station. It's an interchange station, which is actually, you know, the next or two stations after the Kri Kalan over here. It was not able to identify Kirtinagar, but it was able to identify that you have to navigate via the green line, then the blue line, go to Mandi House and then take the violet line. So that part, it did quite well. It said go via the blue line to Mandi House and again it take the violet line at that interchange station. It just missed this interchange station. So compared to a lot of open source VLMs, uh, this particular model on this use case has done a better job, even though it is partial results, I will not say complete results. It has done a better job compared to a lot of other open source VLMs, which I have tried over here on this use case of a complex visual understanding of a metro map. So here is the next uh, Thing which I wanted to try. So I gave this medical, what do you call a tablet, basically a label of a medicine over here. So it lists the contents of this medicine. And I said, I'm allergic to penicillin. Can I take this medicine? So this medicine has some oxalin, so which is allergic to penicillin, uh, like which is be belongs to penicillin family. So the answer should be, I should not take this medicine. Let's see how the interpretation happens. So it says that, yes, this contains some oxalin, penicillin type antibiotic. So there is cross allergy, so don't take it right reaction can be mild do not take so it's given the right answer over here also uh, if you look at this image right uh, it's able to do ocr of this content and it is uh, able to extract you know all this content over here from this image so it has done a good job of ocr as well over here so here i'm uploading a video and i am trying to ask it like you know what is this video about so this is a video about a neural network a new type of neural network called as continuous thought machines Let's see how it does video interpretation. Let's wait for the results. Actually, it's given very good output over here, which talks about this, you know, neural networks through animation. So there is this single neuron activity, history of pre-activations, uh, you know, then it talks about the synapse model and data flow, right? Uh, then it talks about, you know, the neuron level activity over here neuron level model then you have this neuron level synchronization and attention it shows uh, it has done a very good analysis of this particular video over here 
and it is able to explain the video quite well okay it uses simple animations to break down how neural networks process information there's a new type of neural network which probably it's missing out but otherwise it's capturing the animation part of all the things which is explained in the animation it is able to explain it quite well over here they say that this model is good at geolocation as well so i've given an image over here of you know bangalore flower market let us try it out so i gave this image and say locate this place it's quite good over here it says vibrant flower market is kr market it has done a good job i think there is enough metadata in this image or this image is present in google search right uh, so probably it was there in the training data or something but it has done a good job over here i feel it's either a combination of metadata or this image being present in its training data this is the kr market in bangalore so i'm actually giving this particular image and i'm asking like what is the algorithm discussed in this image here you have eight into eight queens puzzle so it's the n queens problem yeah so it says this the algorithm is associated with eight by eight queens puzzle shown in the uh, image is backtracking and then it gives an ex uh, explanation of the eight by eight queens or n queens problem over here it says that backtracking is well suited to this problem because it efficiently efficiently prunes invalid paths in the search space avoids unnecessary computations and ensuring that all valid solutions are identified so here i wanted to see if how can i raise the seat height for this bicycle let's see what is the response again thinking is purely in chinese it says locate the seat post clamp quick release lever if it is bolt type then you might require a key to loosen it loosen the seat post clamp uh, and then adjust the seat height and tighten the seat post clamp so it's given a good explanation it is able to understand this particular task over here and it is able to explain it quite well so these were some use cases which i tried over here you can also go to this demo and try it out now we'll look into the architecture of seed 1.5 vision language model so it has three main components seed vit to encode images and videos so this is a vision transformer then there is an mlp adapter to project visual features into multimodal tokens and then there is your large language model to process multimodal inputs so this seed uh, 1.5 l accepts images at various resolutions and processes them using a native resolution transform to preserve maximum image detail for video inputs they propose dynamic frame resolution sampling strategy which dynamically adjusts the sampling rate and resolution additionally a timestamp token is added before each frame to enhance the model's temporal awareness so this is the model architecture training and other details are present in the paper so you can check it out so here they have given various examples of uh, visual reasoning uh, then geolocation prediction then they talk about uh, solving reverse puzzles over here visual reasoning again right emoji quiz so you can check out all these various use cases and you know the examples which they have given over here you can try some of these you know queries directly on the demo page to see how it works seed 1.5 el from byte dance seed is an impressive vision language model you can go and try out the demo i'll be putting all the relevant links in the description of the video they have an excellent technical report where they've explained about how they have trained this model so you can look into the details over here if you are interested in the details hope this video is useful see you in another video